Okay, friends and followers, uh, we just finished uh, this piece behind me. And we still got some time left, so we decided that uh, Mr. C. Nick Booty and Seima, we will do a one hour challenge right now. And if you want to see this video of this wall, it will be linked over there. Let's start. And as usual in raw videos, voice over Smo is there as well. Yes. And we go upstairs. <laughs> Mr. C is singing. Yo! Other side. Nick. Okay. <clears throat> and you probably know this room already from other challenges like the blindfolded challenge. <laughs> you will find the link to this crazy experiment at the end of this video. Um, I will skip 10 minutes of adjusting cameras, putting boxes with spray cans from one side to the other side of the room and we will immediately start with the raw Good. part, the one hour challenge. Are you ready? I know, I have no idea what I'm, what's happening now. I've okay. Totally lost. Fr friends, let's meet in the middle. Let's meet in the middle. Uh, where is the timer? Timer, timer, timer. I'm gonna put a timer. Timer. Yes. One hour. Okay. I paint your name. You paint mine. I paint your name. Okay. Uh, you paint your own name, or do you swap na swap names as well? Nah, bruv. It takes forever, he's got way more letters. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. That's smart. Okay. <laughs> so the hour starts in three seconds. Okay. Three, two, one, go. go. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let's start. We just got one hour painting moody. Moody. Like this. Okay, whole wall is in the frame. Let's start uh, the video, no, no, not the video. Let's start time lapse. This for me and Seima, battery's there. Is this one running? It is running, perfect. I'm gonna put the batteries in my pocket. Batteries in my pocket. And I close the screen of the camera to save battery so that it does not die within the half of an hour that the camera is able to record. It always stops after half of an hour. This is why I set myself a timer of 28 minutes so that I know, okay, I need to run back mm -hmm. and I know where the half of the time Ooh. is. Also, this helps just to get Love. the feeling. So bad prepared. Yeah, this was a pretty spontaneous idea to do this one hour challenge. So I was like in the last one hour challenge, I was not able to prepare caps. I did not really think about the color combination. And also this time I paint um, Moody. So Nick Moody and me, we were making a name swap. And Nick did not paint letters for eight years something or something i don't know I, I know that he will say it at the end of this video so the m basically is not a problem at all like i got an m in my name as well i've painted it like a thousand times so i will go with a standard super easy small m flowish easy 
but now the problem starts. One O, a second O, and a D, which is pretty similar to an O as well. And doing them all in a flowish way, freestyle, while having just one hour of time. I don't know what I, what I was thinking. And it always helps to go some steps back, have a look, how does it work together. And I immediately started to do some adjustments of the M, painting the left side of the M the third time, the same outline. What a waste of time. Smo, hurry, hurry. And I knew already that I did not want to paint with two same O's besides of each other. This always looks stupid, so I gave them different shapes. I wanted to work with a round... <laughs> this is insane! M-O-O-D? <laughs> I wanted to work with a round hole. Um, but this did not work. The sounds that you can hear in the background are from Pitts Bunker. He is a drone pilot and always when I'm in Belgium I give him a call and say hey I'm in Belgium if you want to fly today you can come with me and so I always get some nice drone shots and this sounded like he has already destroyed his first drone of the day. First five minutes are already over. First lines not even done. But we are close. And now I do something and usually I would adjust a little bit, but I thought, no, I will just start immediately with the fill in and see how it all turns out and I can still make some adjustments. And this was a really good decision. I still remember that I've read an article about the Monsters of Art crew from Denmark. They are train writers and um, they they paint letters together, like the first person starts with the first lines and while the first guy is doing the first lines, the second guy already starts filling them. And of course there happens something like uh, a misinterpretation of a first line or whatever. And while the uh, second guy is still filling the first guy starts doing outlines again and this is a very creative process to create new letter variations that would not happen if uh, you would yeah, try to make all first lines on point everything clean and so on this is why I thought I would do this sort of pretty loose way of creating letters and uh, just looking how it turns out at the end. The second color. Oh no, it's still the first line's color. And I decided that I want to go with a symmetry again so that the left side of the M is symmetrical to the right side of Y. I 
I use a red calligraphy cap for the fill-in. I will go with malachite light at the top and malachite at the bottom. And I also decided to make the M a little bit longer to balance out the long Y at the right side. And the calligraphy cap is really a great cap for filling in big spaces in a very fast way and also do super nice and um, perfect fadings. The calligraphy cap is perfect for fadings. And it was pretty hard for me not to look to the left side because on the left side there was Nick doing his snow piece and I did nearly not look there, nearly not. <laughs> it was so hard. As usual, I do the fill-in just enough so that it will look clean at the end. I will not take care that every square centimeter is perfectly filled. I always fill the fill-in like that it will look clean at the end, but I will not waste any time and not any color. Some adjustments here and there. Doing some chips. I mean chips, they don't really need first lines. You can make them with the calligraphy just with one line. making the D even a little bit longer. Twelve minutes in. A little sneak to Seymour. Okay, he's doing the fill-in as well. Okay, a chip will do the work. Going to maybe two at the bottom as well. Or one at least. Come on. Do a chip. Perfect. Time for the outlines, I would say.
for me it's always like the first outlines, the first two or three outlines are always pretty hard until I get a feeling for the can that I got in my hand. And it is so stupid because I noticed that I should better use a different cap, but I was not flexible enough. <laughs> I was stressed. So I was working with this cap. But it also worked. It was a black, I don't know, a black skinny cap, banana cap, a cap that I usually don't use. I mean, it would be all easier if I would just work with overlappings everywhere, but I tried at least to have some tiny melting points, like the nose of the M melting with the O, and also with my uh, beloved slicing, like the M is slicing with the O, so that O and M are still visible while important parts of both letters are oh, at the same spot. The first quarter of an hour outlines of the M are done. This really sounded like another drone is already crashed. <laughs> peep, peep. The whole of O is way too big. This does not look good. The second O, I think I will adjust the whole of the first O later.
I think it always looks better when the holes of all letters, the negative space of all letters, has the same size. And the long outline of the D. I was really working as high as possible. And at this moment I did not think about it at all that I still need to put my broken halo heart on top of the piece so this will cause a problem i think in the last three minutes <laughs> so 20 minutes are already over One big mistake that I've done in the past was always that I tried to keep everything clean in every step of the painting process and this is absolutely not necessary. If some outlines are not that super sharp right now it doesn't matter because there will still be um, the shadows added and also um, some highlights and you can also cut the outlines clean with the fill-in color here and there just to make some spots a little bit sharper than they are yo and finally finally at the end i changed the cap and i use finally the level one skinny cap for the outlines just for the last fine details so stupid The block is facing downwards to an imaginary vanishing point that is in the middle underneath the piece. And if you ask me, would it make sense to 
change the cap from time to time, do all outlines of the blocks first and fill them with the calligraphy cap later. Yes, this would make sense. So there is still a lot of room for improvement. But we are still having 30, 24, <gasps> only 24 minutes left. I was, no, I'm so stupid. 36. <laughs> Why do I calculate? There is nothing to calculate. There are still <laughs> 35 minutes and 40 Two seconds left, okay. So all chilled, all chilled. Could have done this whole thing with a skinny cap. Okay, next step, a cast shadow on the wall. There is still enough time for it. There is not enough time to remove the um, spider webs from my hand <laughs> and from the wall. But there is enough time for a cast shadow. Uh, yes, a cast shadow. So as the wall is white, of course, the cast shadow is a darker white and this is gray. Yo. And the camera on my head died. But I got a new battery in my pocket on the left side. But time is running. Oh, and I assume that I was clever enough to just do the first lines of the cast shadow and that I will fill it with a different cap, with a calligraphy cap. Yay! That's real smart. I could have saved like two minutes if I would have filled the whole blocks with the calligraphy cap as well.
Why do I not use a fat cap for filling? Um, I got the feeling like that the calligraphy cap does not waste that much that much paint and it is also possible to fill with it real quick. But I have to say that I have to admit that I did not find my personal perfect fat cap filling tool cap. Oh, timer is running. I need to stop the cannon and maybe change the battery of it as well. Okay, we can see a little bit of Seima already. Wow, this looks good. But he has not done any outlines yet. But let's use this moment to see <laughs> what the drone is showing us. Mr. C has just started to do the fill-in after half of an hour, crazy. Seima is working hard. Nick has nearly finished his fill-in. Oh, sorry, you are not able to see it. But I have seen it. Editing Smo knows more than you. Okay, the last 29 minutes and 15 seconds are running. Yo, and as many of you always write me when I'm in this building, be careful, there is so much asbestos laying around on the floor and now there is even a drone flying and there is just asbestos everywhere in the air. Um, this factory was making pillows so that you can sleep very comfy and... Um, yeah, these are Ooh. feathers. There are feathers, old feathers, laying around everywhere in this factory. And this is not asbestos. So uh, probably there is a lot of asbestos in the roof and in different parts of the insulation. But um, what you see on the ground, this, are, this isn't asbestos. This is just um, dirt, dust and feathers. already do the shadows within the blocks and as I did not have a dark red I use concrete which is a dark brown you can always use brown instead of red if you don't got any red with you just use brown they are so similar these two colors And I don't got the time to make the, the shadows within the blocks completely right. So I just 
make some fadings here and there so that the eye gets tricked enough to say okay this looks this looks right but everywhere where i know where to put the shadows instantly like at the end of holes and all holes are facing to the vanishing point underneath the piece of course of course i make it dark at this place at these spots but um, sometimes i make them just randomly somewhere and the next color it is a light orange it's an orange color i don't know which color this was but i used this for highlighting the outlines and the blocks and this is so much easier for me because the light source is on the right side i use the natural light, light source like the it's the window on the right side this looks always cooler on the photo at the end as well when the shadow of your piece is falling into the same direction like the shadows in reality are falling when you're standing in front of it or when maybe a spray can is standing in front of the wall this always looks better when the shadows are going into the same direction this tricks the eye a little bit better shadows in opposite directions directions always looks stupid Yeah, and I always put a highlight on all outlines that are facing upwards or facing to the right side. Oh yes, this already looks pretty three-dimensional. And now I add a little bit of reflections of the white background um, to the block just to make them a little bit more three-dimensional yeah this, uh, this is not that necessary and not that visible but sometimes you have to do weird things just to uh, to look professional when you don't know what to do just do anything just stand there and shake a can this is what the most graffiti artists do Oh, and I also add a little bit of yellow to it to add even more gloss. You can see that the highlights that I'm painting are pretty sloppy, but when I switch now to the overall look, this looks clean enough, clean enough to impress. Mm. And a little bit of blinky blinky. Yo, and if you made it until here, I would really, really be happy if you wrote a random comment in the comment section. It doesn't have to have anything to do with this video. Just write what you were eating as your breakfast today. And this already helps me to convince the algorithm 
to push my content a little bit. Thanks for your support. And as the next step, I do um, highlights within the fill-in in Malachite Light. So the highlights will be visible only in the lower part of the fill-in because the upper part is the same color, but this makes it look really, really smooth. And I can use the same color simultaneously to cut the outlines here and there and make it all a little bit sharper. So the fill-in always gets um, a highlight underneath all the outlines that are already had a highlight. And I can cut here and there some tiny details that still do not look that good. Last 20 minutes. And now I start with the designs. Just paint some designs in the same color, like the highlights within the fill-in. And I will also probably make some designs with the malachite. No, this uh, exactly. This was malachite light, and I will make malachite designs at the top part of the fill-in, probably as well. I don't remember right now, but probably. I was still thinking that the letters look pretty empty. So I decided that I will add some cracks within the letters. Oh yeah. And if you want to learn more about how to create great cracks in letters, I want to introduce you to Smoke Class. In this class, we go through everything I learned in 20 years of style writing. We start at zero knowledge, learn why the bar principle is bullshit. We use scissors and other unusual tools and techniques to learn the secrets of letters. Step by step, we go more and more complicated, learn how to add arrows and extra bars. And the best is this course does not only have 26 pre-recorded videos with more than six hours of video material, it also is combined with a group discussion where I and the other classes can see and discuss your sketches if you want. Um, recently, there are just five people active in the class, so I thought I'd tell you about this opportunity to learn together with me, if you want. So please check out smonova.de, read everything about the smoke class, and if you want my feedback and get a different view on letters, this might be interesting for you. Thank you!
Yes, and this is a pretty common way to get super thin outlines. You just use the color that you have used for the fill-in and cut the outlines until there's just a tiny outline still visible. Or you use the tiny pink stencil cap. It would have been more clever to use this um, dark blue color for the for the shadows uh, before the outlines, but I think it still works. It does not make everything super dirty. It makes it a little bit dirty, but the effect is better with this shadow. And still more than a quarter of an hour left. We are good in time. Good in time. Hopefully I will still repair the left O with the big hole. It looks so terrible. I get pain in my eyes when I see it. When I do these super thin lines, I try to press the cap just enough, just enough that there is a little bit of paint coming out and I move the can very, very fast. And this is the way how you can make super sharp and thin lines. It works the best when the outline, uh, it works the best when the cap is a little bit clocked. But it also works with a fresh cap like I have done here. And this was the moment when I was looking a little bit into Nick Moody's direction and I was thinking, okay, he makes a red piece. That's all that I know right now. Much better. <laughs> Much better, really. Ah, finally. Could have been even a little bit smaller. Little bit. Moody. So ten minutes, okay. As the light highlight within the fill-in is not visible at the top part because it was the same color, I make it with white.
Okay, and there's still enough time for a little bit of background. Oh! Ah, I knew, I knew what I was, what I was doing. Putting a big nick within the M. Make the K thicker. Yes. Good. By the way, this is neon green. So sad that it is not visible on the RGB screen that you're seeing it right now. Some green reflections. When there is a green light, of course, it reflects. A little bit here and there. Usually I make my blinky stars with three colors, but I have to hurry a little bit. And I was watching around if there is a chair somewhere so that I can get up there. But because I'm stupid, I will try it. Even if I already knew that I'm not big enough to make a heart on top of it. Like the, the door on the left side is two meters high. So I can reach up to two meters 50. Ah, oh, I didn't do it right now, okay. Adding the background bubbles. I 
I used two different colors for these bubbles. A dark green that I will use where the cast shadow is visible and a light green everywhere where is no shadow. So it looks like if the cast shadow would cast over the bubbles and over the white wall. It's looking nice. Last five minutes. Greeting to the family. And come on. <laughs> really? Really? You can't be serious. What are you doing there? This is ugly. Four and a half minutes. Come on. Find a secure chair somewhere. Oh yes, this is a secure chair. These chairs are made to stand on it. Perfect. So, Smo, four minutes. Make a good broken halo. Don't destroy <laughs> everything. <laughs> make it bigger, make it shiny. Yes. Yeah, this was absolutely not necessary. I could have better left it in just green. But what should I do? And the tag is still missing. In my memory, I was really hurrying so much to paint this. And when I see it from outside now, as editing Smo, it is like I look so chilled. Two minutes! Two minutes! Two minutes left. Two minutes still left over. And at this moment I want to say a big, big thanks to my supporters on Patreon, my healthy gang. Uh, they have seen this video like two weeks, probably two weeks earlier than everyone else. Um, yeah, and if you want to see your name at the end of every future video of me, um, 
Become a Patreon as well. The link is in the video description. And also at the end of this video, there is a tiny link, a red button that you can use. Yo. And I'm doing the last details, the last minute with the second outline. Such a good decision. Yeah, thanks a lot to my supporters on Patreon. Um, you helped me, you helped me to make this video, exactly this video. <laughs> yeah, it's not that much, but I think every penny counts as an artist, so thanks a lot. Okay. Done. 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 Nice. Are you happy? I didn't look. How the fuck are you so fast? Okay. Um, yo, this is the final result. It seems like Nick likes it. That's how you guys sneak a little custom-made smoke piece. <laughs> okay. Okay, friends and followers. Uh, yeah, this is the final result. You've seen it. Um, I hope you like this small little episode. If you want to see my reaction to this piece, I re I can't wait to see it. Um, check out Nick Nick Moody's channel. Oh, I can't do it like that. Check out Nick Moody's channel, and um, it is linked over there. And now I will have a look over there and i will also look at the other pieces how are you guys so fast honestly i i must say i appreciate even more what you do like in a short amount of time i'm sweating i'm like yeah this is so crazy how is that even possible seriously i mean you practice every day but how how i have to admit that i was a little bit struggling with two o's and a d i did not have like oh yeah they have they, they have different. all the same shape yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's like <laughs> i have even problems tagging that one yeah i think i'm gonna uh, frame that and hang it in my living room <laughs> Please That's pretty cool. feel free to do so i even ad added some some um bubbles to show that there's the shadow this is crazy i mean there's no way I could have gone any faster. It was like I'm doing sports. <laughs> Holy shit. Painting graffiti letters is a whole body, like, full body experience. <laughs> yes. This one as well. Wow. Holy. There's so many shadows in there. I would say this is even, this is even better than mine. I think this one is, it is like I was really, the problem is I was struggling with your letters and the, the combination and everything. But this is so shiny, it's so beautiful. Hey, see what are you doing? Brilliant. Uh, let's, let's see what the cheater Mr. C is doing. Mr. C is cheat. Oh, this is an 8080 from Star Wars. <laughs> you are insane. You are insane. Oh, I need like man. 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. <laughs> Come on, do the 10 more minutes. Do them now. Wow. This is so cool. That was a nice challenge. Like, even with the perspective, we're even with the perspective. How did you choose? Like, where did you choose to do something? 
that complicated. Why? I would have never thought of doing I've that. Uh, he was doing he was doing like 20 minutes of research and then <laughs> you found a nice picture yeah, yeah. and like oh okay I want to paint this well, one. I did before we came here. I wanted to paint some some Star Wars ah, okay. stuff. So I was like oh this is an opportunity. Let's go. <laughs> Good. I was so zoned out all the time. I, had, I didn't look around at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, I need more contrast, it's like white. Okay, friends and followers, I hope that you like this nice little challenge. Uh, I hope to see you in the next project. And don't forget to like the subscribe button. And um, goodbye.